Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Jeremy. Um, good morning. Happy Tuesday. I hope your day's been great so far, and I hope you're heading towards an amazing week. Um, I was thinking about something, something that I learned in seminary, but really something that I've kind of known subliminally my entire life, and that's that um, our worship spaces, our sanctuaries, our chapels, our churches are not just places that house us. They're not just places that we come to do church or worship together. They're also teachers. Um, the way that they're built, their architecture is supposed to um, convey lessons for us in faith uh, that we take with us. And that uh, when somebody walks in for the first time, that if they're astute, that they maybe can pick up on too. Um, things like the placement of the altar might uh, communicate that the most important thing for a certain tradition is communion. Um, different things like that you can see and you can look around in our worship space and, um, and kind of pick up on. But I think one thing that's kind of unique to our space, that's unique to the sanctuary at St. Luke's, is something that I was told back in 2013 when I was an intern here. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit back there, but the sun's coming right through it, so it's going to like overexpose and everything. But um, when I was given a tour of the church for the first time, um, I, I picked up on the fact that there was no stained glass in the sanctuary. And I don't remember who was giving me the tour. I, I want to say that it was Jen, but I'm not completely sure. But they expressed to me that the reason that there's no stained glass, particularly on this window behind me, um, is that the architect and those who began the church wanted uh, people who are worshiping in this space to always remember that we come here to be prepared, to be fed so that we can do work out there. And so they never wanted this community to be too insular or too focused inward, but they always wanted us to remember that whenever we come here, whenever we're worshiping here, we're doing so, so that we can be witnesses to Christ out there. And so I think that this sanctuary particularly, this worship space particularly, uh, presents us with a question that we should take everywhere. It shouldn't just be asked in this space, it should be, but it should be everywhere. Where is my work? Where am I called to? And this uh, sanctuary answers back to us. We are called into our community. We are called into our world to be witnesses of Christ, to be Christ's body, to be lovers of humanity and lovers of God. And so uh, I just wanted to share that idea with you, that thought with you, and just encourage you to look around our sanctuary and look for other lessons that it wants to teach you, that it wants to teach us as a faith community. Uh, and so with that, uh, let's pray, and I hope you have a great day. Lord, we thank you for a rich tradition of faith. We thank you for a robust and diverse and loving faith community. Lord, we thank you that you are a teacher in more ways than one, that you teach us uh, uh, through your spirit, that you teach us through those you've called, but also that you teach us through beautiful buildings and through nature. We ask that you would help us to be receptive and attentive and aware so that we can receive your lessons and your love and uh, share it with others as well. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for your love and your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope you all have a great day.